Hello and good afternoon, everybody. So, I wanted to talk a little bit about why the uh, why witchcraft is dangerous, or why functioning um, in witchcraft is 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 a dangerous thing. Excuse my little red eye. You know, when I was washing my face and the soap, you know, just give me a little soap, give me the eye <clears throat> and the light. So, here is why witchcraft is so dangerous. Now, first of all, people who are functioning in witchcraft are normally people who are bitter, unforgiving, angry, and they want to hurt people. They want to hurt so, somebody so bad that they will take matters into their own hands and either practice witchcraft themselves or go to witches, wizards, and warlocks to hurt somebody because they are bitter. So people who are functioning or operating in witchcraft it stems from the root of bitterness and forgiveness and the whole chain that follows that. Amen. Murder, etc. Um, so what the devil don't tell the witches is that, for example, when it comes to Christians, especially God has an authority structure, but the, the whole principle we're dealing with is Christians here. If a witch is masquerading in the church as a Christian, for example, and that person goes to, for example, false prophets or people to try to get them to fight a true child of God. Because if they're going to false prophets to fight you, they're not of Jesus Christ. Amen. They're not real. They're fake. Because the Bible says a house divided against itself cannot stand. So if they're going to get people to fight you, etc., what the devil don't tell them, listen carefully. God is sovereign. He's almighty. He's all powerful. He's, he's the alpha and omega, the beginning and the end. God puts a protection on, on, on his servants. Amen. It's like an impenetrable shield. And the word impenetrable means you can't penetrate it. There's a hedge and a fire of protection that goes on, 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 on his children. And especially those who are leading Apostle Prophet Positive, because they have to watch over the flock, amen. So when they're standing in the gap for the sheep and for the people of God, they need even more protection because they are now overseeing and, you know, because they're standing on the behalf of the people, their shield need to be a little bit more. So what happens is that if somebody goes now and say, for example, let me take an extreme scenario so that you can maybe see what, what I am saying from this perspective. Let's say somebody say, oh, let me go and try to put a curse against the prophet, whatever prophet, whoever they are, wherever they are. Let me put a curse against the prophet. Let me try to put a curse against the prophet's finances. Let me try to put a curse against the prophet's ministry or blessing. What would happen, and this is what the devil don't tell the witches, is that the demons will, if the demons come, which may be trafficking spirits, familiar spirits, whatever spirit, and because they see a protection on, on, on the individual, they're going to go back and take it out on the witches. Amen. They're going to go right back to witches. You, I mean, the church don't necessarily even have to pray, go back to sender. The demons are going to go right back. To the witch, the wizard, or the warlock, because there's a shield of protection over where they sent them. And the thing with demons, when you play with them, you might think, "Oh, you send them, nothing happened." No, 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 no. For example, if somebody goes out there and say, "Oh, I'm gonna dedicate," or try to like, for example, how should we put it? Let's let's take a crazy scenario. Somebody, help me. Holy Spirit, what should I put? Just something crazy. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's say a woman, for example, have a newborn baby, two, three months old. and But God's hand is on the newborn baby. So if the person say, oh, I go and dedicate that, that baby, whether it's the baby mother or not, to, to the powers of, 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 of witchcraft, what will happen if... If God's hand is on that child, if it's not the case all the time, it's on that child. Maybe the child has a call, according to Jeremiah 1, 5, whatever. God's hand is on that child. And the demons can't affect the child. The demons are going to go back and end up killing the mother. 
Amen. The demons are going to go back and kill the mother. Suddenly the mother gets cancer. Suddenly the mother gets a brain tumor. Suddenly the mother gets this and the mother gets that. Because, again, this is what the devil do not tell the witches. Is that if they don't get it, boy, you're going to pay. And this is how evil Satan is. So if you're a person out there putting curses against people, prove this word to see if it is true or not. Look at your life and you will notice your financial issues. Your financial, if you're putting curses against people's finances. Oh, how can this be? I can't pay my bills. They can't pay their bills either. And maybe the person is a man, woman of God or a Christian or someone. You will notice what began to happen to your finances. The demons that you conjured against them are going to come right back and attack you. Why? Because there's a protection and a hedge and shield of protection over God's children, over God's servants. Are you hearing me, somebody? So, I mean, I can build on this for another 10 hours, but I'm sure you're wise enough to get what I'm saying. There's an automatic backfire and return to sender when God's hand is on a person or people. If you come against them, the demons are going to end up killing you who send them or conjure them. So the people who sometimes go to false prophets, they know the false prophets. Why? I want to say something here. If you're not bitter or you're not unforgiving, why would you? I'm just taking a scenario. By the way, this is not premeditated. I'm just taking what bubbles out. Amen of the spirit. Why would you, for example, go and take somebody's ministry or personal information and go and give it to another people? Why would why would you do that? Because you want people to fight them. Because in your heart, you don't want them to prosper because you know your heart is not right. They're troubling you. The anointing is troubling you. The fire, you know. That they have kingdom of light and you have kingdom of darkness. And part of your assignment is to try to block. So when the people go and fight them and realize that it hasn't prospered, guess what's going to happen? Amen. For example, there's some people, I'm not saying this is with regards to every situation. It is not and it cannot be so. But there's some people, for example, whom have out there gone to put curses. For example, you know, do witchcraft, go to a witch doctor. Oh, that person. That neighbor, they will never, they will never, they will never bear. Guess what? Many of the people too, they will encounter problems who went to the witch doctor. Amen. There are people who have come to me for prayer. And the Lord told me, do you know why these people are barren? They are barren because they have been fighting people's children. And there's some people who have had children. Listen again, disclaimer, this is not with regards to every person's situation is different. There's some people who have had children, but have been out there doing wickedness against people. And as a result, sometimes God has blocked up their womb, shut up their body parts, remove or whatever their system because of witchcraft they have done against people. I want to say something, children of God now, children of Jesus Christ, you have no right fellowshipping with darkness. That's not the way the kingdom of Jesus Christ works. You only do that kind of stuff where you want somebody to cast a spell. And any person who is saying that, oh, you're a Christian and you're casting hexes spells, you got one foot in and somebody anger you, you're dealing with charcoals, coals, crystals. I don't want to fool you. You are a witch. You are a witch in disguise of a Christian. You have not been saved. You have not surrendered your life fully to Jesus Christ. You are masquerading as a Christian, as an angel of light, as the Bible says, Satan. Behold, Satan masquerades himself as an angel of light, but you are from the kingdom of darkness. Amen. When you're walking with Jesus Christ and you're dabbling in the occult, there's no in between. In the book of Revelation, Jesus said, because you need a hot or cold, I will spew you spit you out of my mouth there's no in between if you're on team jesus you don't do that stuff so for many you are hearing oh this person is 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 filled with the spirit of god and suddenly you go home and you and you or you allow your family and you allow your kids to be doing witchcraft 
you know what I mean? Your family, your kids doing witchcraft. I'm hearing this in the spirit now. Are you allowing kids and family to be doing witchcraft? But you're saying you're filled with the spirit. No, you are filled with the ghost, but not the Holy Ghost. You're filled with some kind of ghost. Amen. <clears throat> so, and, and for those of you who are children of light, you need to pay attention to the fruit of people. If you got friends who are saying, oh, they love the Lord and you know very well that person is always hooking up with false prophets. You know very well that person is always dabbling in the occult. That person is doing witchcraft. You know very well that that person is doing things that is not right. Stop calling them holy. They're not holy. They're walking in rebellion. And rebellion is as witchcraft. There's no witchcraft in Jesus Christ. Sometimes as Christians, we are, we are coming with this kind of stuff. Oh, we don't want to offend people. We want to, we don't want to all love in the name of love. And you're fooling people, making them think it is well when it is not well. What did the Bible say to the prophets? What to the prophets? If God tells them that somebody is going to die and they do not tell that person they will die, then the blood will be on their hands. We need to stop playing this kind of lukewarm Christianity because we don't want to chase people away. We don't want to offend people. Well, if people will leave or don't want to give because you speak such a money, correction, speak such a message, thank God that that evil hand, that evil money is gone because he's just shown you that you were receiving evil money. Repent, ask for forgiveness and move on. Amen. We want to be... We, so, <clears throat> we for some reason, we on, on earth, us human beings have this per perception that if you love somebody, you don't tell them the truth. You're not supposed to be honest and open with people. Amen. So as a result, we try to use, find some three, four scriptures to match what we want to do and say it is justified. And then we, 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 you're trying to justify your ignorance and trying to justify your fear of man. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love and a sound mind. So for those of you who are children of light of Jesus Christ, men and women of God, serving and those, the sheep of Jesus Christ. There's a covering and there's a protection upon you. The Bible says Satan, Satan was a murderer from the beginning. The thief comes to kill, steal and destroy. So when you see certain things and you're a Christian, what did Jesus said? He's a liar. He's been a, he's been a liar. He's a murderer from the beginning. So the thing that you are seeing is not even real. Amen. Know who you are in Christ Jesus, children of God. Amen. And give no place to the devil. Again, what the enemy do not tell these witches fighting children of God is that to show you how evil Satan is. The demons know, look, there's light on them. When they try to approach them, it ain't going to work. So eventually they're going to take out the person who sent them against the people. Amen. So for those who are dabbling in the occult, I pray that they will repent and be saved and walk in the light as Jesus Christ is in the light. Remember, I believe that God in out there, oh, put in, oh, diseases, blah, blah, sickness of people. No. But the wages of sin is death. If you carry on in these kind of practices, then you will be opened up or handed over to Satan. The Bible even talks about where Paul gave people over to Satan for the chastisement of flesh. What is the chastisement of flesh for people who say, God, don't put nothing in nobody. Ba, ba, ba. What is the chastisement of flesh? You tell me what the chastisement of flesh is. Amen. So, but notice, he said he handed him over to Satan. So I guess in this case, God didn't do it because he handed him over to Satan. And obviously Satan will 
inflict them with something that will cause them ha, 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 to stay closer to Jesus, to stay closer to Jesus. At least they will end up making it in. They will end up, um, you know, making it, you know, into heaven, etc. Sorry, I'm looking through the window. I'm always watching. And that making it into heaven, but um, amen. Hallelujah. So nonetheless, God bless you all in these shalom and love. This is just one of these revelations. And sometimes I sit down with the Lord Jesus Christ and we begin to converse, different conversation. The Lord begin to show me things in the spirit, what happens and blah, 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 you know. So for children of light, Jesus Christ be glorified. Jesus Christ be magnified. Jesus Christ be praised. You know, when we talk about witches and stuff, this is a reality. We live in this in this in this society and in the end time where the Bible says Revelation twelve twelve, behold, Satan has come down with great wrath because he knows that he has a short time. So the devil is pulling everything he can. Witches are getting even more wicked. So society is becoming even more wicked. Amen. But the glory of God and great revivals and etc. is gonna still be apparent on this earth because God is sovereign and supreme. Amen. But we're in the time of, 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 of great disturbances, etc. Amen. So you don't bury your hand, your, sorry, your head in the sun like a turkey or, or, or like an ostrich. Well, a, well, an ostrich correction, not turkey. They kind of look alike. A big or a bigger and a mini, a bigger, a bigger and a smaller version. But like an ostrich. So, amen. So you have to deal with it. Amen. It is real. Jesus be glorified. We worship him. We praise him. We don't exalt them. But teachings still have to come to the body of Christ with regards to the reality of the life and the things that we are facing. Amen. So I don't know much of how many of you, um, what your walk of faith is in, Lord, in the Lord Jesus Christ. So I was just talking to you in bringing this video and within about five seconds, 10, no, within about five seconds, I just appeared, you know, because we're seated with Christ in heavenly places. So if we're seated, if I am here and still we are seated with Christ in heavenly places, it means that as human beings, we can be more than one place at the same time in Christ Jesus. We're not talking about astral projection. So we know that where there's, where there's an original, there's a counterfeit. So the original is that true, the spirit of God, the spirit of God can have us more than one place at the same time. So faith, Satan counterfeits it by getting people to try to take their own selves out of their bodies through means of a demon or demonic transportation. Amen. So when you see which is doing things, you need to study there was an original, but Satan comes with a perverted copy of it. Amen. A perverted, for example, um, in the Old Testament, there were animal sacrifices. But in the Old Testament, um, they weren't drinking the animal's blood. So what Satan does, he copies it. And in the satanic rituals, do animal sacrifice and got people drinking the animal's blood. You understand? He brings the perversion copy of the original. So if you want to know um something look at what we just do and for example you will see some kind of original in the bible be it the old testament whatever that was never meant for that kind of use in that way at all so satan takes it perverts it twists twists everything and turn it upside down and then sell it to people so nonetheless i don't want to go too too deep into that now because i can give you several biblical um, 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 instances where this occurred. For example, the Lord told the prophet, "Go and bury a cloth." And now, what witches do? Oh, they're burying stuff against people. Oh, you see what I'm saying? So there was an original, for a good purpose and a good intent, orchestrated by the Lord. But now Satan would take it and pervert it for perverted reason amen so nonetheless the lord bless thee and keep thee the lord make his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee the lord lift up his countenance upon thee and establish you in his shalom i salute you